Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Wednesday, April 19th. After the boom on Monday, we had stocks back off yesterday. They did fight back at the close, the close relatively unchanged. We had the S&P down seven points, down a quarter percent. The NASDAQ was down six, so uh, just below that 5,400 pivot that we're going to talk about once again. But the Dow was down. The Dow was down yesterday, down 110 points. Mainly Goldman Sachs just weighed on it, and essentially that was all of the index loss. So we saw a half percent drop yesterday in the Dow because it's only 30 stocks, and it's weighted by share price, uh, not market capitalization. The dollar index closed below 100, so that was a big deal. Uh, we had the euro currency surge yesterday, up 100 points at 107.50. So maybe we're seeing another breakout to the upside. We'll have to wait and see after that fake out breakout we saw a couple weeks back. Let's see if we can get moving once again. Gold ended up being up $3, $12.94, but did not take out the Monday high at $12.97. And crude oil, we've shifted over now to the June contract as a front month with the most volume. It was down about 25 cents. Let's remember that the high, the recent high in the basis June contract is $53.85 that we want to keep an eye on. Also, it's important to note that Treasuries uh, continue to move higher yesterday. Some new relative highs, new three-month highs, breaking out of this sideways channel and some solid follow-through. Got up to 155 and a half, and we closed yesterday down at two, two point, below 2.9% in yield in that 30-year Treasury. So rates have relaxed as the dollar has gone down. So let's see where we are here Wednesday morning. Right now, Stock Index futures are popping a bit. We're getting back the losses from yesterday and more. We're up right now on uh, nine in the E-mini S&P, uh, about a third of a percent. The Dow right now is uh, only up seven points because we had earnings come out here this morning. Uh, we're impacted by IBM losses. IBM's down about 5%. Another example of a big stock giving the Dow a false, I would say somewhat false, impression of negativity because one stock has so much weight. The NDX right now is up 27 points, solidly back above 5400 at 5420. 5480 is the all-time high from just a couple weeks ago to keep an eye on. Looking at the other markets, gold is down $10 at 1284, 1297 high on Monday, and crude oil basis June right now is at $53, up 15 cents. So to summarize the stock market right now as we get started is positive. We're up about nine points in the S&P, up 24 points in the NDX, and we're up right now about eight points uh, in the Dow as more earnings continue to come out. Morgan Stanley came out this morning, made $2 billion profit for the quarter. So the banks keep banking it. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.